Thank you. Uh, buenos dias, uh, gents. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing me to speak in your committee. I'm here to speak on CD 2.1, uh, dedication of um, fire department trainees. Uh, I want to uh, make a friendly recommendation based on our strategy of uh, creating diversity in our city of Toronto. I hear you speak, talking about how, how, how difficult or simple it is to recruit members for minorities. You know, outside the mayor's office, there's a place that says diversity is our strength. Fine, I believe that. It's a nice piece of work. However, down the road, when you recruit minorities, you make their life a little hell. Because, you know, sometimes the culture inside is very difficult to overcome. Some people, they don't welcome minorities in their, you know, close groups. So, I have to say this, that it's important that we create Aside from this committee, an advisory committee, a group of people like tenants like myself who belong to Toronto Community Housing, to provide insight, to provide uh, advice, uh, suggestions to the fire chief, um, to, to encourage you know, a change in the culture. Same thing happens at the Toronto Police Board. Minorities are discouraged from continuing on and on because once you know the process goes you know, to recruit minorities, it's just an empty bong, because in a year time you see you see cases of human rights cases, you know, because people have been uh, dismissed or tenured their job because they express their rights and freedoms. So, my message to the fire chief: continue on with your recruiting process, and please um, take this consideration at heart. You know, we need to have minorities in, involved, engaged in the process of selecting. Uh, perhaps a new uh, fire recruits. Um, as a member of, of a visible minority like myself, I have been very much treated bad by the system, and I continue on and on. I know many people don't like me, my presence here. <laughs> last, last January we have a, a little bit of a hiccup, but I'm here again. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> so, um, uh, Jean Sales, I, I believe you were on vacation today, but I'm glad you're here, you make it. To this committee, I, I have an email waiting on your inbox. Please provide it to me because uh, we are having a meeting in my building. Toronto Community Housing has one of the many uh, false alarms calls in the city. I wonder if there any way to minimize that that amounts of calls of you know three trucks, four trucks coming for the false false fire alarms. It's costing a lot of taxpayers money, and I welcome the idea of having a, an education uh, team that can come to the buildings and alert the, the tenant, for instance, you know, when you're cooking in your unit, don't open the door in the hallways, because, you know, that triggers the CO2 detectors. And then we have a false fire alarm. You know, that tenant is not gonna wait for the uh, fire chief to come upstairs and say, oh, you know what happened? We, we just came three, 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 three crews to respond to a, a fire alarm because you were frying from fish and, and, and you had to let the, the, out the smoke into the hallway, which triggers the fire alarm. And uh, we have so many phone uh, problems in my personal, in my building. We are having a, we are having a, uh, um, a security meeting this Thursday, uh, sorry, Wednesday, uh, March the 25th, and I would like to welcome the fire chief to come to our meeting. Uh, it's all TCSC staff who are coming to, to meet us, uh, tenants at 220 Oak Street at 7 p.m., but I would like to see the fire chief, if we can make change to postpone his uh, vacation plans, or maybe he wanna send Andrew, his other buddy, to come to uh, 220 Oak Street and talk to us. Because this is a very is uh, an issue that is causing a lot of headaches. Uh, we have 60 decibels of uh, alarm going on through, you know, blowing hard through the horns in the units, and 100 decibels in the hallway. So, you know, can you imagine, you know, if you, if you are senior and frail and old, you're gonna go, you know, insane. I mean, uh, you're hearing loss, you know. Um, I have pets and they're suffering, they cry. My, my, my poor pets are crying at night because you know, every, we have fire alarms three, four times a day. A day, brother. This is costing you know, taxpayers money, uh, an arm and a leg, and we need to find a way to stop it. And I'd like to have a report back from Jim Cell. I want to break down of all the fire alarms. If it were caused by staff, if it were caused by um, the fire sprinkles going, going bonkers or something or other outsour um, sources,
that triggers a fire alarm, not just because one crazy nut <laughs> is pulling the fire uh, punished. Thank you so much, and I appreciate your time. Stop. Great. No, thanks very much. I've taken a couple of notes. appreciate your comments. Any questions for the deficit? No? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.